Hi everyone, this is Crossbone Vanguards. I'm Dempster, and with me here is the captain. Hello! And... Yeah, the time is right. It's time! It's time! It's, it's time. time to do... Okay, wrong game. <laughs> okay, so today we finally have our TD-09, GTD-09. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Right, so the name of this trot deck is... What is it in English? Um, True Zodiac Time Beast. Even though they have a 12 in the Japanese, but... Oh. Yeah. Okay, what's the Japanese pronunciation? Okay. Japanese is Shinsei no Junish Kokuju. Alright, so... What you see here on this box is that you see the lovely um, next era, next season chrono. Um, him in uh, high school. I yep. it's history, right? He's in history. I have. Or is it a new one? I it could be history because it looks like it. Yeah, the jacket looks like it, but well, we, we don't have to see. We don't know last. Right. Right. At this time, we do not know yet. Yeah. So, uh, but anyway, you see on top here it's got the new um, Chrono Jet Dragon G. Mm -hmm. um, then this is basically uh, the new trial deck that Chrono will be using in the new season. Yeah. Uh, don't right. take note. This is the supply set, so it's different from the normal trial decks that you get. Yes. So, so because it's a supply set. Um, we will also get extra items as well. Mm -hmm. So first of all, we have a promo pack of Melem. Um, I have no idea who this is. Yeah, and one unit that and we can't identify just yet. I think, and we I think I can. Hold on. Um, Speedy, Speedy Bunny, I think. Speedy Bunny, okay. We'll find out later on because yep. we're going to open this up. Mm -hmm. And as and well as um, Retroactive Time Maiden Uluru, the mm -hmm. G-Guardian. So yep. it's interesting that they put the G-Guardian in the supply set, but I guess that's what it is. The supply set is supposed to give yeah. you all the stuff that you Correct. need. Uh, and together with the, the the promo pack as well, they also will give you um, the deck box. Mm -hmm. They'll give you a clan card, a new clan card with a Chrono Jet Dragon G. Mm -hmm. um, then they also give you the supply set, which is the supply box, the storage box, which you yep. see right here. Uh, fighters counters right there, and um, the new Chrono Sleeves. Yep. Alright, so um, we've seen how the, 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 the supply sets used to be, and uh, we're hoping for, for pretty much the same of the, the old kind of. Thing. Oh, it, yeah. it is certainly improving. It started from just like a piece of plastic mm -hmm. to something that you can actually use to store cards mm -hmm. um, in a safer way. Alright. Yeah. Mm. Enough did that. So, yep. side here, you see it, you got a logo. Mm -hmm. uh, what's this inside? Uh, Trial deck 09. Yep. Pure Goracle. Okay. <laughs> Typical. <laughs> Typical. So, alright. So, let's just open the case here. So, mm -hmm. eh, eh, and you see, you see the, the, the leg. Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, so um, nothing new on the sides here. If you can see, it's just Vanguard G in the back. Mm, there really isn't much. So, there isn't much. so let's, let's just open the chest. Yeah. Do, 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 do. First right. of all, the, this thing. Don't know what it is. Don't know what it is, so. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> throw it to the side. Okay, so um, with that, we also get the promo pack that you see here. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So we'll get to it later on. We'll get to that later on as well. We'll go through that as well. Mm. Um, the first guy. Yep. See there? And playmat itself, same consistent printing as uh, we see, plus the notes at the back that tells you what to expect. Yep. How you can play this deck and other news and stuff, and uh, and also um, what cards you can use with this deck from um, from older sets to newer sets as well. Yes. Stuff that's coming out, all right? And this thing as well. So yeah, it looks which the, is the same as the first one, one, one as well. Yeah. All right. Before we move on, I'd like to mention that um, this uh, for Japanese release, uh, the, the release date for this one is available right now. The you, what you see right now is actually the um, the the dates that you see for English and for um, Japanese as well. Yep. Uh, the dates are eluding me at the moment, so I just want to throw that out there so you guys mm -hmm. know what's going on. At the same time, also, um, what's this? Mm, all right, they are promoting. Uh, first of all, they're promoting the the clan booster CB04. Yep. Uh, which is in another video. Yep. And of course, um, the release of the new season Vanguard G next, mm -hmm. which will be coming out on the second of October mm -hmm. on a Sunday. Great. On a Sunday, but back yep. here it's quite interesting. I think there's like a promotion for for the Vanguard manga. Actually. For the Vanguard manga, as so, well. so we've got the original um, cover Vanguard manga, Vanguard G first volume, I believe. Mm -hmm. uh, no, second volume in fact, with mm -hmm. some of the promo cards and as well as mini van. Mm -hmm. So all these come with their own respective um, PR cards that you can get, mm -hmm. and of course some uh, some interesting uh, special prints I believe, mm -hmm. which is part of the campaign I think. Part of the campaign. Unfortunately, yeah. you can't make anything out other than that. There's a Spike Brothers. Uh... It's, it's, actually the same, it's actually the same three cards, but they're all special printed. Yeah, they're all special printed somewhere, mm. right, right? Okay, so let's not do <laughs> that anymore with all this. Right. Okay, so first of all, we've got the sleeves. Um, as the previous one, uh, it's of a different kind of texture. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's solidly printed, much like the other ones that we had with uh, from the other supply sets. Yeah, and such. So yeah, this is pretty neat as well. Mm -hmm. And the box itself, which includes the new Coronavac G, Coronavac Tiger G on the side here. Yep. Um, the new Chrono, well, not new Chrono, Grown Up Chrono, and Grown Up Chrono. <laughs> well, not much that we can tell from this stuff. We're not gonna yeah. damage the thing. So all right, all right, and, and of course the deck itself. Mm -hmm. Okay, first thing. One thing interesting is that um, the 12 Zodiac Beasts, if I'm not wrong, are printed with their respective Zodiac um, characters here. Yep. Uh, but do correct me if I'm wrong because this is the first time I'm seeing it. And uh, I believe one cool. copy of each will, will have that, that, that kind of print. I believe so, yeah. Alright, yeah, as you can see. So, mm, right, yeah, let's yeah. separate out all of this. So, the main ace is Corner Dragon, Dragon, Dragon G. G. Yep. Uh, we got the stride down here. I believe the stride is number one, so it goes there. Yeah, two strikes. Yeah. Alright, two Corner Jet Dragon Gs. What? Yeah, two Chrono Fang Tigers. Two oh. Chrono Fang Tigers. There's only one. Yeah? There's only one. Really? Yeah. Uh, that is... I think we missed something. That is weird. Or could it be at the bottom because it says there's two Chrono Fang Tigers. There's supposed Tigers. to be two, supposed to be. Yeah. Alright, maybe we'll find it later, so... Um, okay, then we got other great trees over here. Mm -hmm. Alright, then... Chrono Spin Serpent. Chrono Spin Serpent. Um, chrono... Oh, we will get to yeah, the later. later yeah. Alright, so sorry we are not discussing much. Oh, there you are. We kind of got stopped at that, so. Ah, okay, okay. Alright. Alright, yeah, right. okay. so as you can see, the, the Gear Chronicle 1, which is an updated version of the. Um, uh, updated version of the one from 06. Because uh, 06 was the first one, uh, yeah, TD06, the one that they first introduced the, the Clan Casa. Yeah, yes. So it's updated, it doesn't have the, the cover banger at the back so you don't confuse it and not chop it in the deck. Mm -hmm. And then, um, Chrono Jet Dragon G right there in front. Yep. The counters with um, Chrono Chrono and, and Chrono Dre and stuff. Okay, thank you. So, this is interesting. Yep. Um, you said something about the, um, the this font printing. Yes. Is it indifferent? Um, supply sets because I'm not too sure actually because I don't see them saying anything here. Uh huh. Uh, but um, apparently, yeah, they didn't really say anything much about it. But from what I can gather, uh, okay, looking at just this one itself, there are already there are only three, three actually three three of which are printed with the with the zodiac characters. Uh -huh. So if my guess were right. Uh, if, if I were to guess, um, it would be that it's a random of three uh -huh. uh, Zodiac Time Beasts, uh -huh. which will be printed with the special characters. I see. If not, then oh well, you know. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. So, like uh, mentioned in the announcement for this trial deck, this deck contains all twelve Zodiac Time Beasts. Yep. As you can see here. So, without further ado, let's just get to the. The uh, cards. Yeah, let's get cards. straight into the cards itself, yeah. right? So we'll start with the triggers first because the triggers they have no skill, so mm. uh, we will just clear through them as, as fast as we can. Yeah. So starting off, we have uh, the critical trigger, which is uh, Chrono, Chrono Blow Rabbit. Chrono Blow Rabbit, all right? I then yeah. you got four Chrono copies. Blade, of... Chrono, hold on. Chrono Bore Rabbit. Okay. Okay, you had the, the thing on the screen that you can see right mm. now. So and the next one is we got two copies of the um, of the draw triggers, Chrono Dose Sheep. Chrono those sheep, yes. Mm -hmm. Alright. And then another one, the stand triggers, four copies of them. Yep. This is um uh hold on. This mm. is Chrono Time Okay. Right? The heel triggers, mm -hmm. which is um Chrono Chrono Cerebi Hamster. Chrono Cerebi, okay. Mm. Right. And the last uh, trigger that we have is um, a reprint, a reprint mm -hmm. which is um, Lucky Pot Draco Cake. Yeah. Alright, its skill is that um uh, it's an active, so from regard to so move this unit. So if you have a good chronicle Vanguard, uh, no, choose one of your good chronicle units and they get plus 3k. How do you get confused with that over all things? <laughs> things, so. Okay. <laughs> what, what's right. in your mind right now? Uh, a perfect future? Maybe. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so uh, we'll just go straight to the, the, the strides right now. So mm. we go from top to the bottom all the way until there. Alright. And so, then, sir, what's the name of this one? Okay, so this is uh, Metapulsar Fang Long. Or in Japanese, it's Metaru Paru, uh, Metaparusa Fang Long. Uh, I think <clears> in English <throat> they call it Huan Long. So. Yeah, mm. but it's essentially, sound, it sounds more like a Chinese name. like that. Alright. So his skill is. Um, Corner Blast 1, when this unit, at the end of the battle that this unit attacks a Vanguard, you may pay the cost. If you do, choose a Great 1 fa uh, and above face up card from your buying zone and uh, either add it to your hand or call it to Rearguard Circle. Either add it to your hand or Yes, call? correct. Oh. 
This is very interesting because the first. yes, because knowing that most of the uh, zodiac time beasts are triggers, uh -huh. sometimes you might want to get them into your hand. Like for example, if you have um, Chronos and the hamster in your bind zone, you might want to bring it back to your hand for Guardi uh, for G Guardian, uh huh, or something like that. I just realized that this unit is also a. Uh... It's a dragon. No, <laughs> no, this unit is also a zodiac time beast. Yes, it is. Hmm. But I'll say this is like the transcend version of a dragon or something like that. Whatever. Mm. Anyway, <clears throat> moving on. All right. So um, the ace of the of this deck at least, um, yep. Chrono Jet, uh, Chrono Jet Dragon G. Mm -hmm. All right. So its first skill is a continuous skill. So uh, during your turn, uh, if you have two face up uh, G units, uh, this unit gets plus five k. No, for every two. Oh, for every two. Okay. So yeah. for every two uh, G units in the the G zone, face up, face up. Uh, this unit gets plus 5k e mm -hmm. for, for each two yep. and then uh, if you had then all of your zodiac uh, time beast rear guard, uh, plus, rear guard plus 1k yep. for every two so mm. so basically it's uh, say you have um, two chrono jet dragons one is the vega and one is the rear guard so chrono jet dragon who is also now a zodiac time beast now mm -hmm. um, he uh, that, that rear guard chrono jet uh, dragon will get 1K plus 1k one. for every two yes right so just need to, to mm -hmm. clarify on that so yep. alright so its second skill is a uh, it's a time leap skill, all right. So uh, on the vanguard circle. So when this during your turn, uh, if you when you strike to a gear dragon or zodiac time beast uh, G unit, mm -hmm. when you strike to that uh, that type of unit, uh, then choose one card in your hand and call it to the regard circle, and then uh, choose one of your regards and time leap it. Choose up to one of your choose regards. up to one. Yeah. Okay, so that that plays interestingly. It plays much more different from the other Chrono Jet. Yeah, that's why they reprinted it with a G behind, so you don't confuse it with the previous Chrono Jet Dragon. Because we know for one that um, Bushiro do not reprint the same units with different skills, unless they are of different names. Yeah, unless they have of different names. All their rights. Yeah, so <laughs> I mean you can play around with with, with uh, all the, the the Chrono Jets there. So I mean yeah. just play around and just see what works for you. Mm -hmm. so. All right, next we have Chrono Fang Tiger G, the second ace um, for this whole deck. All right, <coughs> kind of, but okay. It is actually. But anyway, mm -hmm. all right. His uh, his skill is a Vanguard Rearguard skill, GB one. Mm -hmm. They explained it here again. I don't know why. So <laughs> no, no, they have to give it away because they have to get new new players. You so. killed the joke, dude. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So blast one. Uh, choose one of your other rearguards and bind it face up. That's the so, cost. So yep. At the end of the battle, that this unit attacks a Vanguard, you may pay the cost. If you do, uh, choose one of your opponent's rearguard in the same column as this unit, and he puts it to that bottom of their own deck. So, wow, that's pretty ironic because Chrono Fang Tiger used to be used to play very heavily on binding. Yep. And for some reason, this one plays with what Chrono Jet Dragon used to do. Mhm. Mm so that's very interesting, in fact. Quite interesting, in fact, also. Mm -hmm. But then, of course, uh, I think say if you play with the old Chrono Fang Tiger, uh -huh. uh, then it actually could be, be it could play an interesting dynamic. Yeah, with those also. You get you can you can play a full Chrono Jet Dragon or full Chrono Fang Tiger now. It's mm -hmm. up to you. Mm -hmm. Yep. Right. Right. So next we have. Uh, her name is Steam Maiden Imi. Uh -huh. And her Vanguard Rearguard skill is a GB1. When this unit attacks a Vanguard during the battle, this unit plus 4k. Typical. Mm -hmm. And her other skill is when this unit appears in a Rearguard circle during that turn, um, you may have this unit minus 2 grades. Okay, so it's considered a grade 1, so you can time leap to a grade 2. Yep. Using her, so. Uh, not really, but. No, I mean, maybe say if you use time leap, so. No, when she appears in the regard circle. So you can call her as a great one instead. Yeah, you can call her as a great one. Then we can mm. perform time leap in that turn. That's one. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. That's yeah. what I'm referring to. <coughs> Alright, All right. so next one is the uh, 10k vanilla. Now, this is interesting because it's a 10k vanilla. This is a chrono spin serpent. Yeah. Alright, and it's a zodiac time beast, but it's a 10k vanilla. Wow. And there's only two copies in this deck. Surprising. Surprising. Yeah, they're making you buying four copies of everything, really. Uh, by uh, two, two copies, two copies of everything. So, <laughs> I guess it's the normal. So, but I yeah. think with this, because it's a, it, I guess this would be a special case. Normally, they give four uh, tanking boosters. Yeah, yeah. But in this case, they only gave um, two, because it's a zodiac time beast. So, mm -hmm. oh well. Moving on. All right. So this one is um, Chrono Ro Chrono Claw Monkey. Chrono Claw Monkey. Thank you. All right. So this is another zodiac time beast as well. So mm -hmm. uh, it's a Jig one skill. Is Counter Blast one. That's the cost. Alright, so when this unit appears in the regard circle, uh, if you have a Zodiac Time Beast Vanguard, mm -hmm. uh, you may pay the cost if you do. Uh, for the turn, this unit gets plus 5k. Yeah. And what's the thing at the side? Power. Oh, okay. Um, this The hard card race also counts. Hard card race also counts. Yeah. So, for example, if 
if you have Chrono Jet Dragon G as your Vanguard and you strike to something like a uh, Gear Colossus, mm-hmm. the hard cards race will still count and Chrono Claw Monkey skill will still activate. So that's what he's trying to say. Okay, so that's a bit of a clarity in terms of some of the rulings as well. Really Finally, like they are doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I will know, but finally, but okay, it's a thing. <laughs> it's a thing. Yeah. Okay, next we have Chrono Beat Buffalo. Uh, I believe this is the first unit that was that was summoned. Um, the enemy. Mm, okay, but, but we okay, like whatever. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Chrono Beat Buffalo skill is a is a continuous skill. Uh, if you have a grade three and above, uh, Zodiac Time Beast Vanguard, this unit plus two K. That is pretty interesting. Um, it's continuous as well. So as yeah. long as you have a Zodiac Time Beast, this unit is an 11k. Yeah, and it doesn't even say that during your turn. So mm. your opponent turn this 11k is hard to hit. And yes. also, as with Chrono Claw Monkey, this one also counts the hard cut race. Yes, yeah. and there you go. Four copies of it. So, woo! Woo! That'll be interesting. <laughs> yeah. Alright, next one that we have here. This is... Um... Something Something Colossus. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. This is an airdrome, I think. No, it's a Colossus. It's a Colossus? Yes. Okay. Uh, I, we can't recognize the name uh, currently right now, but you see the name on the screen right now. Tekken right, Se, so... Se Sai no Colossus. Mm, okay. <laughs> right, so um, this is your, your special interceptor. So, yep. oh, your generation break interceptor. I think that's the, the proper term for it. What? So, yeah, no, that, it's not an official term. It's just, it's just made up. So, uh, But basically, GB1. So, when this unit intercepts, for the battle, this unit plus 10k shield. So it's a 15k uh, shield when you intercept. I'm, I'm pretty bit. sure I, I termed this as Generation Interceptor. Ah, that yes. Yeah. That's, that's what I was trying to remember. I coined it! <laughs> okay, anyway. Next we have Chrono Dash Peccary. Mm-hmm. So this is the boar, uh, the, 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 the boar, pig. The pig. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was trying to find a better way. Anyway, this is an 8k vanilla, uh, and as always, you have the four copies. And of you it. have four copies. You have the 8k copies, but then you only give two. So sad, I only have two. I, I'm born in the year of snake, and I feel triggered. <laughs> I'm also born in the year of snake, also, but, but still. I feel triggered. Oh, so there's two, one for each of us. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> Moving on, okay, right. so we have um, um, Chrono Anthos Jackal. Yeah. Alright, so then its skill is uh, in the regard cycle. So uh, when this unit, uh, I Attacks. Mm-hmm. Um, if you have a, a Zodiac Time Beast Vanguard. Uh, Vanguard, then for the battle, this unit plus 4k. Yep. Right. So it's a 11k attacker as yep. long as you have a Vanguard. Right, but it has to attack the Vanguard. La. Right, but it has to attack the Vanguard. So mm. Same thing with the with the other one. I mean, this this is sort of like an upgrade from from the um, the 10k attackers. Yeah, the Jockey attackers in a way, which is which is what a lot of clan needs actually. Mm, kind Considering of. Considering most, but no no one really plays tanky vanguards anymore. Yeah, but it's a weird niche. I I'd say la, between the mm, two. Either way. You know. Oh, we have Anna. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. So this is um Steam <laughs> Steam Sniper <laughs> Vishma, or as we like to call her Steve Anna Amari, Amari. <laughs> Captain Anna Amari. You're powered up. Get in there. Okay. Um. <laughs> oh, actually, she can actually do that. So. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Anyway, she, her skill is a time leap skill, the first one. Mm-hmm. So it's so plus one, then choose one card from your hand and discard it. Mm-hmm. Right, regards circle. So uh, when this unit uh, boosts, at the end of battle, this unit boosts a Vanguard. Uh, a Vanguard. Mm-hmm. So you may pay the cost. Uh, if you do, uh, time leap this unit. Yeah. So she's literally nether boosting herself. You're powered up, get in there. No, I'm powered up, I need to get in there. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, its second skill is uh, Calm Blast 1. So uh, when this unit appears, uh, appears the in the bind zone, zone from Rear Gutsa. Uh, no, a- Appears, oh, appears to the regular circle from, from the buying zone. zone. <laughs> you may pay the cost if you do draw one. So basically, if you choose, basically, when you've used your own skill or use another uh, skill to time leap her, mm-hmm. and then basically, when she returns back, then you can actually combust one and draw back, which is actually pretty useful. Yeah. And the fact that they give three copies for something that can boost only the bank hmm. you that's quite a lot. That's quite a lot, actually. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's quite a lot of faith in they have in this. So. Mm-hmm. All right. The next one that we have here is Chrono um, Charge Unicorn. Chrono Charge Unicorn, the one that destroyed Dragon Empire branch. Ouch. Ouch. <laughs> yes. All right. So her uh, its skill is uh, it's auto skill when it appears in uh, when this unit appears in the rearguard circle. If you have another, uh, no, choose another of your um, Zodiac Time Bees units during the turn plus three k. Okay. Yeah. So with no con, this is a uh, this. This is, is like like. Um, like Starlight like Unicorn Ah, or something like that It's like Starlight Unicorn Except when you call it You choose another Zodiac Time Beast And then plus an additional monkey yeah. instead Which is very specific And it will give you Two, two copies. copies So Guys, you know what to do If you are the full Zodiac Time Beast deck <laughs> Kind of Yeah Yeah. Well, we don't know how How, how this deck will, will, will match up With the other Gear Chronicle stuff But um, It's nice to see uh, Nice to discover all this And just figure out what, what, What's going to yeah. happen And then you just form All the things in your head mm-hmm. Anyways um, The the perfect cards That they give you In this uh, trial deck mm-hmm. uh, They give you is uh, Your standard generic one So discard one When you see your face In the garden circle um, Choose one of your 
Uh, you may pay the cost if you do, then the unit that's being attacked cannot be hit. Yep, basically. So, what's the name? We, we dodged the name, so. Oh, yeah, the name is Repel Circuit Dragon. Repel Circuit Dragon. Mm. Okay, alright. So, it's a uh, Get Dragon, so. Yep. It's a, your generic PG, there's not much to say. Mm. And lastly, we have Chrono Dran G. Which I do when it one copy for obvious reasons. I know. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> alright, so, um, as usual, he has his Forerunner skill. And his next skill is a rear guard skill, GB1, um, where uh, move this unit into the soul. When your another of your units appears in the rear guard circle, not from your hand. Okay, get this not from your hand, you may pay the cost. If you do, um, choose up to one Zodiac Time Beast from your deck with the same grade as that unit, call it the rear guard circle and shuffle your deck. It's Kind of confusing uh, when I just read it out, but when you think about it, it's essentially it's essentially a Zodiac Time Beast searcher, feeder, caller, whatever. So it, it drags out one more Zodiac Time Beast from your deck, which is quite useful. Okay. Um, yes, in a way. <laughs> uh, I'm just trying to process the skill. Think, think, think of it this way. When you call, say, this one onto the rear guard circle, mm. then you can move this into the soul searcher deck for either... Uh, uh, search your deck for either uh, Chrono Fang Tiger G or Chrono Jet Dragon G, you know, those kind of things. Mm-hmm. But it's a GB1, so. Yeah, GB1. Uh, so. <laughs> and we almost forgot because we are dummies as usual again. Mm-hmm. Here are the promo uh, the promo cards in the promo pack that was featured in the, the, product, the supply set as well. Mm-hmm. So going from left to right. So first of all, we have Retrospective Time Maiden Uluru. Mm-hmm. So, um, shall we go through the skill? Yes, let's go through the skill. So even though it's a, a reprint of stuff that we already covered already, but basically, uh, Retroactive Time Maiden Uluru is a G-Guardian. So mm-hmm. her skill is that um, when, you, when, the, when she appears in the um, Guardian Circle, thank you, I need to read it. So she appears in the Guardian Circle, mm-hmm. alright, so then uh, choose, um, from your drop zone, you choose a normal unit and a trigger unit, mm-hmm. and you send it to the bottom of the deck, and shuffle. If you do, if you do, then this unit plus 5k shield. Yeah. So basically, you can send a trigger unit, you can send a normal unit back to the deck, and she gets plus 5k shield, and oh, you, get... you don't get to shuffle. It's just the bottom of the deck. Oh yeah, it's just the bottom of the deck. Sorry, sorry yeah. about that. So, right. So the next one that we have here, this is relatively new. This is what? I don't know. For a minute, I processed Jushin for some odd reason. <laughs> uh, no, it's a uh, Pulsar Speedy Bunny. Pulsar Speedy Bunny. Yeah. So it's a continuous skill during your turn. Uh, for every Zodiac Time Beast, this unit plus 1k. Yeah. Ooh. Interesting. Okay, so this actually plays on with the the um, the, the current build that we have for... for uh, yeah, for the Zodiac Time Beast. Zodiac so Time Beast as such. Mm. Right, so then the the last one that we have here is an old staple. Actually, it's still staple. It's a staple. <laughs> it's a staple in a Gear Okay, and so this is, is Steam. Steam Maiden. Steam Maiden, isn't it? Steam Maiden Melon. Ah, yes. <laughs> we missed the timing. Okay, anyway. Well, anyways, <laughs> right, so her skill is that uh, GB1, so uh, when this unit attacks the Vanguard, uh, for the battle, you can have this unit plus 4k. If yep. you do, uh, then uh, at the end of that battle, um, send this unit to the... Bottom. Return this unit to the deck, mm-hmm. then search your deck for uh, okay, 1 grade 0 and call it to regard circle. As rest, right? At rest. Yeah. And then shuffle your deck. Yeah. So this is a good feeder for, I don't know, for Timely to bring her out again. Woo! Okay, anyway. Alright, so um, that's all that we have for, for this uh, trial deck. I hope you guys um, are watering. <laughs> and not as confused as we are. And not as confused as we are about, about what's going on. Uh, yeah. Maybe because we're not um, full-time um, uh, Gear Chronicle players. So this one yeah. seems a bit down, but we sort of get an idea of what's going on. But uh, we want to see what this deck can do in action. So do look forward to the... Um, uh, the trial fight that we have planned for for this deck, mm-hmm. uh huh, and while he's arranging the thing as well. So, okay. <laughs> um, right now, uh, as we do our outro, we put up a, a ding here. All right, so this ding will actually will explain um, uh, more about we're we're gonna find out more about this um, um, the prince the, the prince are uh, yeah. the, the 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 zodiac prince for all this. So maybe it's in the other trial maybe it's not. Mm. Uh, but you have to see like, how it goes from there. So, yep. uh, right. so uh, if you, um, but just to put it out, if you have anything that's different from us, do let us know in the comments below because we, we it will really help us as well. Yeah. I think at that point in time, okay, we already have done our research already, so it's guess I'll put a thing as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you guys just let us know what you got because we want to know. We're, we're kind of curious. Alright, 
<coughs> so that is all. Um, thank you all for watching, and please, of course, subscribe us. Uh, subscribe, subscribe us. Subscribe to us for more Crossbow Vanguards, and of course, follow us on our socials as well. We are on Twitter at Crossbow VGS, our Facebook at Crossbow Vanguards, and our blog at Crossbow uh, Vanguards.wordpress.com. So if you want to see that profiles, even coverages, everything is over there. And of course, last but not least, we also have a Patreon. So if you want to support us even further, you can go over there and take a look. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. So we're in the midst of uh, upgrading our our Patreon, updating our Patreon rather. So it's more mm -hmm. of a relaunch uh, at this point in time. So mm. uh, do look forward to right now. There's there's no rewards, uh, additional rewards as of yet. We're still trying to figure that part out. Yep. But uh, once we do have them, do uh, check out our Patreon. You can see what it is they can rewards and uh, what will happen when you um, when you uh, become a Patreon. Uh, uh, for crossbow mega so. yep and all that stuff all right so that is all thank you all for watching and we'll see you in the next video bye and look forward to this one really <laughs>